time for me to go to school. It's comfy day and <laughs> and it's also uh, anything but a backpack day. So yeah, so I'm bringing my awesome, great Minecraft chest. <laughs> My back hurts. Because when I was leaning, I was leaning back so it doesn't fall back, and now my back kills me. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> school today. I brought my thing in my chest and it's half right now because or the top isn't on it because I'm taking things out but my back's killing me because I was holding it like this and I had to like lean back like this all day so it hurts to say the least and um yeah it was fun and first when I was walking there I was noticing that like a lot of people had their actual backpacks and I was like what but luckily I've seen a few good ones I saw someone with a mailbox someone with a microwave someone with a pot I think I filmed that uh, I saw a lot of people with like baskets but yeah so walked to school it was fine went to first period I just kind of set things down and we had to do state testing third period I kind of just plopped it onto my chair because it was quiet and we weren't sitting so and all the people were like, oh my god, is that your chest? And they were freaking out over it. It felt really good. <laughs> and then fifth period, my friends were like, oh my god, that's pretty cool. You know? Need validation. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> then lunch. I couldn't wait in the lunch line with it because there's no possible way I could have grabbed my lunch with it. So I kind of just like dropped it off at my seat before running into the lunch line. And then... Uh, blah, 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 blah math class my math teacher saw it and was like oh that's pretty cool and the person who sat next to me but then walking home was a pain it actually killed my back um so like when i was walking to school i was walking on the stress that people were wearing their backpacks i wasn't really noticing how heavy this was but now that i wasn't stressed about it it was so heavy but yeah so i brought it it was fun it was pretty cool yeah, and I want to watch more Shadow and Bone, so I might do that. <sighs> and today, when we were running in PE, I got a bloody nose. And we were running, like, a mile in some, and then walking back, like, a mile in some. like, And it was downhill and then uphill a lot, right? And then going back was, like, downhill and then uphill. And I got a bloody nose, like, almost... Okay, it wasn't, like, completely at the check at like the where we would stop running but like i was walking up and i got a bloody nose and i knew it i was like oh what and i did this and of course there's blood and luckily while i was while that happened like within the first 10 seconds one of the teachers because there's there's three teachers one of the te one of them was running in the front one of them was biking and one of them was in their car the one that was biking was passing at the time and I was like uh I got a bloody nose and he was like okay just turn around and like walk to the health room even though it was like a mile because I went pretty far out already and so it was yeah I was really close to where the stopping point was and so everyone was waiting there to wait for everyone and then they'd start walking back but since I got a bloody nose, I was like, okay. And then so someone else went with me, but I didn't know her. So it was kind of awkward when we were walking back. And I was like, how are you? Because I was like pinching my nose, right? And I was pinching my nose with my jacket, actually. Because at first I was just pinching it and then blood just started getting on my hands. So I'm just like, I'm just going to use my jacket. And I'll just wash it out later. So yeah, I used my jacket. It kind of ruined the sleeve a little bit, but whatever. And then when they were walking back, uh, when, like when we were like, when the girl and I were almost turning into the school, my teacher who was running with everyone kind of ran back instead of walked back. So he caught up to us and he was like, just like, do you need to go to the health room? And I was like, no, I think I'm fine just going to the bathroom. It's just like, I need to finish. Cause like when you have a bloody nose, you need to finish it off. If you know what I'm talking about, I'm not gonna say cause it's kind of gross, but you have to like do something. 
until at the very last second. That's very gross, and I, I didn't really, uh, I didn't really want to do it like while like into the bush. I guess I don't know, like in front of the random person. So I was like, you know what? I, I'll just go to the bathroom. So he let me into the bathroom, and I did get full PE credit because we tried and we didn't. We were pretty close to the end. So. Yeah. So I got full PE credit on that. And my nose is fine. I'm very shocked that though that it like was bleeding and it was winter because normally it doesn't it bleeds. Okay, well kind of. It's not even winter. It's fall. But like sometimes it bleeds in the fall because it like my nose gets really dry and starts cracking a little bit. But mainly it happens in the spring. So yeah, it was very. It was kind of out of the blue because I haven't had a bloody nose in a while. But yeah, and I didn't have any tissues or I didn't have my nose sprays whatever so yeah okay my toilet's about to like go crazy and my neighbors are gonna hate me for that's my toilet if you can hear it for what i'm about to do because i want to do like the bad romance like upper up thingy because i've been trying it just to see how high i can go in my chest voice so yeah <clears throat> I'm making some pasta right now, and I'm actually editing and watching the Babysitter's Club. So, multi-multitasking, I guess. You know, except I'm editing at the fireplace, and I am cooking right now. So, I'll start, like, re- not re-editing. I'll start editing again once I'm back there. Okay, so I actually watched Shadow and Bone today because I didn't have work because like a few hours before i went in so like when i got home from school i'm trying to set this up um it oh my god you guys are like hitting one of my oh my god stop hitting the keys on my keyboard okay well but like right before not right before two hours before i went in to work this one girl was like hey can i have your shift today so i was like sure because <laughs> i really don't like working on tuesdays because it's tuesday but yeah, so that's fun. Finish Shadow and Bone. My heart hurts. You know, <laughs> I can't. Oh my god, I'm so excited for season two. Except I don't. Okay, so I haven't read the book yet, and I at my lunch table group, like two of the people have. So they keep talking about it sometimes, and they spoil it. So I know some things, and I try not to remember them, but it's hard because I know like a lot of. Uh, I can't. Today, my math teacher knew my name, which I've been trying to hide my name from him because I find it very funny when he's handing out tests and he's like going around asking people, "Are you Courtney? No, no, no. Are you Courtney? No, 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 no." So, kind of sad that he now knows my name because I told him something today and he was like, "Thank you, Courtney." I was like. Ugh. Dang it, he knows my name. <laughs> but yeah, so I've made it like a month and a half without him knowing my name. But now he does. Very sad. Okay, so I forgot to put this in the vlog, but I'm filming this like after and I'm in bed right now. So the outro is gonna be the same in a second. But like, okay, I basically embarrassed myself today in math okay but honestly it's embarrassing for my math class if you know what i mean okay so basically um i was my teacher's like oh yeah everyone's pretty tired today like it's kind of like dang okay and i raised my hand and i was like yeah it's because it's a no bones day today and no one 
no one gave a reaction. And that's so embarrassing because I it looks like I just don't know what I'm talking about. And that what I'm talking about is uncool. But, you know, I think... Okay, I think that it was, like, a pretty funny thing, you know? It's because it's a no-bones day and nobody knew what I was talking about. But at the same time, as much as it was embarrassing for me... It's embarrassing for them because they don't know what that means. Like, how could they be so uncultured to not know what No Bones Day means? Like that. Oh my god, that was so embarrassing. But they should feel equally as embarrassed. But they don't feel as embarrassed because it's not embarrassing when they have the numbers. And I just didn't have the numbers. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. It was awkward. I had to explain what no bones meant by myself. And if there was somebody else, maybe they could be like, oh, yeah, you know? So I didn't look crazy. But no, I looked crazy. But I, I eventually showed the no bones video to my teacher and things. But like, oh, that's actually awkward. Okay, so tomorrow is the big day. I get to perform. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, we're recording it. So, wish me luck. It's no longer at, like, a huge assembly. And it's being live streamed to the school. And all the people who are going to be in the assembly are going to be in the gym. And someone's just going to record it and live stream it. So, yeah. It's not pre-recorded, though. It's live streamed. Which worries me. Um, but, yeah. So, that's so exciting. So I need to rest now, so I'm gonna head out. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this and you want to see more, you know what to do, see you. Bye! Uh, okay, so I am going, I'm trying to see if I'm okay to vlog around my homecoming group when it's homecoming. So I asked them, and then probably when we're getting ready, I'm gonna tell them about my channel, because I feel like that's an in-person thing to do rather than over Snapchat.